All right, for today's Model S Explained, how to use... Oh, time out. Gotta ask, of course, Vinny, say hi. Say hi. Okay, anyways, to, for today's Model S Explained, how to keep your heating and cooling system controls uh, fan speed at 11 while in range mode. In range mode being heating and cooling range mode. <coughs> now, I'm going to switch back and forth here and we can show you power consumption to show you that you actually are in range mode. Right now, you can see my power consumption. We're parked. And that's with heating system on range mode. So, maximum fan speed, we're at 8. Vinny, sit in your chair. Daddy needs one more minute. Now what you do, go to controls, settings, turn range mode off. Now, okay, now to return up to 11. And as you can see, the power consumption has greatly increased by about uh, two thirds. All right, now we're just gonna close this. Someone's going, going a little cuckoo here. Someone's very happy. All right, back to this. One. All right, so now, now that our blower's going at full speed here, turn range mode on, select yes. Now, I don't know if you can hear it. Fan's still going at absolute maximum. Power consumption is dropping to range mode levels, yet the fan is keeping at its maximum speed. Now, the slider will display 8, which is the maximum for range mode. 11 is the maximum for range mode off, or the absolute maximum speed currently available. Now, with this, you can still adjust you know, where it's blowing, either slurry circulate, that, this also works for the, on the air conditioning, works even better when you have the air conditioning um, instead of, uh, uh, because uh, a lot of people have complained uh, they had to go, uh, and I'm one of them, um, range mode off with the air conditioning runs the compressor fan extraordinarily loud. Uh, yet then the eight number eight with range mode on just does it, it cools enough there's enough cold air but it's just not blowing hard enough to circulate the cabin which i don't know why tesla won't just let us have the full fan fan uses very little power as compared to air conditioning compressor or the heating strips used to heat the car but here's what happens now don't know if you can hear it but now if you adjust I'm sure you guys could hear the background noise a bit, but once I touched the fan selector, even though it still is at 8, now the car defaulted the, the fan speed down to 8, instead of keeping it at the 11. Now, I have it on the scroll wheel here. You can see fan speed 8. Of course, the range mode is still on. You can see the power consumption. And once again, to redo, Turn range mode off, put fan up to 11, turn range mode on, select yes, shows once again, fan is at 8, or fan speed, it says it's at 8, but it's still at 11, and power consumption will then drop down to what it would be for range mode. And that's how you solve the little problem of circulating enough air in your cabin while getting better range, especially in the winter time, you'll get better range with range mode on um, in summertime. But uh, like I say, you really don't need, unless you're maybe in the southern part of the US or in a really, really hot climate, you really don't need range mode off. Wisconsin, range mode cooling was perfect. So. Hope you guys can hear the difference because that's the only way to prove to you uh, is by hearing the amount of air coming out of the, the system. So, 
Uh, once again, if, if Tesla, if you guys are watching this video, uh, it'd be real nice if you could keep the fan, let us use the fan speed all the way up to number 11, but keep, be able to select range mode for the reduced power consumption. A fan at full speed probably, fan at full speed probably only uses maybe 30, 40 watts compared to um, a couple kilowatts for heat and range mode and about, what is it, uh, five kilowatts for heat and in, in, uh, range mode off. I mean, it's it's a drop in the bucket. So, um, questions post below.